Hello, welcome to this uh, Vision Lab series. Uh, today I'll be talking about how you optimize the lighting for a machine vision application. Uh, getting the illumination right for a machine vision application is actually essential to the performance of the system in the end. Knowledge about the optical properties, about the defects in the raw material, uh, also, the available illumination types is actually essential to getting this illumination of the scene correct. There are basically three main properties that we want to try and optimize when we do this. Number one, we will always try to maximize the contrast for the features of interest, meaning the defects. Uh, actually, this is uh, more or less the basic, the main issue. We always try, point one, to get uh, the features, the defects to stand out in our images. Point two, maximize the light energy to increase the depth of field or the signal to noise ratio in the image. Um, this will make your system more robust towards movements on axis, uh, objects moving closer or further away. Uh, it will also make it more robust towards uh, other motions. Uh, it can, if you have a great depth of field, it will also make it more robust towards blur in the image. Point three, minimize ambient lighting. Here you have to make sure that there are no uh, external lighting, like uh, sun coming through a roof window or the indoor ambient lighting causing reflections uh, in the surface of your uh, objects or uh, altering the measurement accuracy if you're me trying to measure something uh, extremely precise. A uh, simple way is just basically shielding off uh, exterior light uh, around the setup. If we look at the optical properties of an object, uh, this is also mainly in three uh, points. One is what we call diffuse reflection. If you have an object, you have uh, light coming in. This light will diffuse, it will reflect in any given uh, direction. We can also have what we call specular reflection, meaning that the light coming in at an angle on the object will reflect in the same direction. Um, and number three is what we call transmission, meaning that the object is uh, transparent in some way. Uh, light coming in would, will actually, yeah, both in some cases reflect on the surface, but most of it will actually pass through the uh, transparent object in any given direction. In some setups, looking at the wavelength also plays an influence. Uh, this could be uh, filtering out uh, a, a specific culture, color. Uh, it can be filtering out uh, UV light, uh, infrared. It can be short wave uh, filtering. It can be pan pass filtering. It can be uh, using polarization or, uh, yeah, focusing on a specific band. Should you have an interesting application uh, that you want us to test out, feel free to reach out to us at JLI. We have uh, extensive lab equipment and we'll test anything uh, uh, simply for free.